Oof, uh, Jay, yes. we do. We usually do a lot of relationship stuff, so we have a couple things that we ask all our guests. Uh, one that I, I like asking, we got this from Penn Gillette. One of my favorite things. I love Penn. We all we all get into arguments, but what was the dumbest argument that ended a relationship? Not like what the argument was really about, but like the superficial, like the he, he the example he always used was a uh, a couple started arguing. Did Elvis? Did uh Priscilla start dating too quickly after Elvis died? <laughs> Wow. Um, shit. The, the dumbest, dumbest argument. When that, that broke them up. Was, yeah, was, that was oh, the, okay. that's uh, what it, but it's not really about that. It's like that's the kill yeah. that's, that broke the straw. Uh, no, no, but, but the of, argument was between how to lose. Priscilla and Michael Jackson. So that's yeah. why it was such an awkward. One. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I don't know, man, I mean, because normally uh, I was being uh, accused of cheating accurately. So it's kind of <laughs> hard to <laughs> it's kind of hard to say what the I can't think of an irrational argument because it was always you're cheating. And I'm like, yes, that's an excellent Fair point. point. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Point taken. <laughs> huh. Good question, though. I, I can't remember. No, one girl, she dumped me for cheating. Another girl, another girl, like it just eroded. It's hard to say. My relationships typically eroded. Because I was uh, just a shitty uh, boyfriend. I can't think of. Uh, well, what? what, what oh, makes... and I had a, 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 a one, a, a, an Ann Coulter argument. I'm friends with Ann Coulter. So I had an argument with a girl I was dating who didn't like Ann Coulter. And I'm, and I'm like, yeah, but she was, you know, personally, she's just been very nice to me. And she's been <laughs> supportive. Like, you know, so she, I, she, I, she's my friend. So she's right, nice right. to me. And that, that was a big one. We were flying cross country to San Francisco. And I think we argued for six hours wow. on the flight about Aunt Carl. She was one of those girls yeah. who would be a little loud. Uh, um, she, you know, she, she doesn't like fucking single mothers. I'm like, all right, all right. All right. I was talking about like, I didn't want to take a <laughs> cross country flight. But yeah, that was probably the dumbest one. Because I should have just said, who cares? Like, yeah, you're right. What do I give a shit? Um, yeah. that, that was probably the stupidest one. What's it like... Uh I mean, you're saying you had several of those, but what's it like when a woman finds out that you're cheating and that you're it sucks. It's devastating because you feel guilty. Um, you know, you realize that you've hurt somebody and your relationship is over and you like, oh, God, I'm so self. Yeah, it's terrible. I always feel guilty. Always. You, you feel fucking horrible. Um, I remember one girl uh, I was driving home and she caught me texting um, I was texting a, uh, an escort and she saw the, uh, the, uh, the name and she goes, who the fuck is that? And I'm like, oh, that's my code name for Anthony. I'm, all, I'm like, <laughs> my phone. I had to go in my, when the bathroom and change the name. I'm like, and 10 minutes later, it was so bad. My act, I'm like, see, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh my God. I, I remember being in, uh, in, in the car with, you know, Chris Murphy. You remember? Do, Chris, yeah, sure, sure. Chris Murphy was in my car and he has that long hair and he combed his hair and threw the the, the blonde hair and it just kind of pop, popped it off the thing. And I had uh, broke up with a girl because of uh, Chris, Chris Murphy's Murphy? hair because he just funny. could not believe that it was a it wasn't a guy. See, I'm like, really? He wears long <laughs> hair. He That's a, funny as he shit. Does a joke with his hair, like he looks like a girl from Fuck You. So yeah, this didn't yeah. break me up with my girl, but we definitely had like a little a little minute of she got angry and then realized well, that's, that's that she that, was the chest tripping. push. The chest push. Nah, not with the that, chest push <laughs> one. This is my current joint. One night she found her own bra. <laughs> and then when, and she, it was like like stuck, you know, like one fell back somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she, she know was, it was like, hers. "What the fuck?" And, and I'm like, "What bitch? This is your shit." <laughs> How long did it take her to realize that it was her bra? She fast, mad quick, mad quick, mad quick, mad quick. How much damage that. did she do in between, though? You motherfucker! Like, if it was, <laughs> like if it was thirty seconds, how much did she get off in thirty seconds? In thirty yeah. seconds, she just like came to me with some intensity. It didn't, it didn't wild out. She ain't no wild out type. She just had yeah. some intensity in her. Like, I can't believe you would do this. To me. I've had a girl up. find condoms. She found condoms. Yeah. Yeah. Ironic because I never use them, but she found <laughs> condoms that I had bought. And um, I was like, oh, come on. Those are old. And she goes, I checked the date. She actually checked the fucking date on the condoms. And I think she went to CVS up the street from my house. Oh, and she did it. it. Yeah, you need to get she out of there. Yeah, no, she was right. She I mean, that's the forensics. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. she did Oof. the forensics. It all came back. 
receipts. Yeah. You got the receipt, everything. Jesus. Yeah. Got, Jesus. What about this video I have here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she didn't she apply right. none of that energy to her life, though. I had a girl. No. <laughs> no, she was busy yeah. catching me as I was ruining it. <laughs> I had a girl. Uh, she was staying with me for a bit. And then uh, I remember she left her panties like on the corner of the bedpost for some reason. Yeah. Uh, and I remember I've had girls she, do that. Yeah. And I went uh, in my head. I was like, oh, that's cute. And I brought her up. Then I took them down, <laughs> slept with another girl and then put them right back. <laughs> oh, like, smart. <laughs> later on, I was like, oh, it's cute that she cares. But we weren't even like a couple. It was just, but I was like, I had a girl nice. find panties under my bed, and she was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, well, it's, "You got to leave those there because how's she gonna find them when she comes back?" <laughs> then like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I never she, understood how girls could just leave. Like, that's on purpose, right? I mean, you don't. Of you, course. There's no. I've never was, left any place without no, my underwear with, if I uh, haven't. Yeah, shit but that's myself. the setup. That's the setup. Or they'll take the hairs, put the hairs on. I had a girl put a hair on the lamp. On the lamp switch, draped it around the lamp switch. I was like, women are constantly doing reconnaissance on you, man. <laughs> yeah, always. They're yeah. usually right, too. They're usually right. Um, you know, I just thought I had a girl find a pair of panties and they were mine. That was really. <laughs> <impressive>. <laughs> I didn't pretend I was cheating. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's a medium. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. You got a size 36 <laughs> panty. Yeah, what's this clear spot in the front? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's, a little, it's a little creamy in the front of these panties. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.